Hello, this video is going to be a tutorial on using the print booklet feature of InDesign. Uh, oftentimes when you're creating multi-page documents such as uh, directories or catalogs or uh, booklets, something that um, would eventually be printed and bound into a small booklet, um, you need to get the pages uh, to be printed in imp imposed order so that when they get folded and inserted they come out correctly but you want your document to be in chronological order to go in the order of the pages so uh, InDesign allows you to do that where you set up your document and your pages are in order and uh, uh, sequential but then you can use the print booklet feature to do the imposition and create uh, uh, little booklets. You can also export it as a PDF um, and print them later. So uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to make a little book on our own. Uh, the first thing we need to do is prepare our pages for InDesign. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new document and we'll go to the print tab up here and choose letter half. It's a preset which is half of a letter sized piece of paper. Over to the right I'm going to change it to inches because I'm more comfortable with inches and we'll keep the orientation at portrait. We'll leave one page to start and leave facing pages checked on. Pri uh, starting page number one is correct. We also want to check on primary text frame. This allows us to uh, paste in some text and it will auto flow and create pages for us in InDesign. Uh, we'll leave it with one column and half inch margins and we don't need to have a bleed. So we'll click create here and what we get is an InDesign document with a single page. If I come to the pages panel you can see we've got one page here. The next step is to get our text and paste it in. So in the tutorial folder, there are two files and each of them are short stories. One is The Cask of Amontillado by Edgar Allan Poe and the other one is called A Nice Morning Drive, which is a short science fiction story written in 1973. Um, so I have opened up uh, A Nice Morning Drive and it's about 2,000 words and uh, it does come come with an image at the end. I could use that as a cover if I want to. But basically I'm going to copy all this text and then uh, copy that and then in InDesign we want to grab our text tool and click into the page and you can see the cursor has uh, planted into uh, the primary text frame. And now if I just say paste, control V, uh, you can see that the text has been pasted in and in the pages panel you can see that it has added multiple pages here. So I've got um, five pages and it's all um, ready to go. Those are all uh, connected text boxes that are flowing. So um, the next thing to do here would be to kind of format the text a little bit. Um, I'm going to, um, going to create a title page, first of all. So uh, if I put my text cursor in here, um, or if I select the title and we make that um, a large font for a title and then perhaps center it, and then we have a byline here. I'm going to center the byline as well, but I'm going to break it up. This came out of uh, Road and Track magazine. I'm just going to apply an italic to it. Yeah, I don't have italic there, so oh, what? that's fine. Uh, anyways, you can create a page break here. So I have my cursor set in, and if I go to the uh, type menu, insert break character, and then page break and what that does is that pushes all of the text onto the next page. So now I can um, come here and I can maybe move that down some and uh, 
maybe add some carriage returns there. And that page break just stays right here. Um, and it keeps the text uh, off. Um, I'll leave a little bit of space here to uh, place the image later. Um, down here, now I can um, modify this text as well. So if I can back that up one, um, and I'm just going to spend a few minutes um, formatting the text a little bit. And you can see that as I add these breaks for the paragraphs, that the text is flowing um, as I would expect it to. <clears throat> There's a long paragraph there. There might be a couple of typos around here. That looks like it's missing a paragraph period. So anyways, we've got um, our pages now. We've got six complete pages. And uh, what we're going to do is now uh, print or get this ready for uh, imposing in position uh, to be able to print it or create a PDF. So um, to do that, actually first I'm going to save it as it is in case I mess up. Save as, call it uh, print booklet. I'll just save that to my desktop. Um, so under the file menu, if we go down to print booklet, it brings up a dialog box um, with our setup here. So our first setup uh, would be a, a print preset um, and we're just going to leave it at custom. Right now it's sent to my home printer, the Brother uh, series printer, but I'm going to print all pages and we can change the printer uh, in, the, in the minute here. But I'm going to print all pages and we're going to do a two up saddle stitch. So under this drop down menu, there's different uh, formats here. And these are for different ways that you would put the signatures together. But a saddle stitch is where you take the paper, you fold it in half and insert it one into the other and then staple it just like a, a magazine. Um, and so we're going to stick with that. Um, it's only a few pages, so I don't have to mess with creep, but there's a creep setting there if you had a lot of pages. Um, I'm going to leave the margins to automatically adjust, and we want to print blank printer spreads. What that means is that uh, in order to, to print this, you need to go in multiples of four. Um, and so we'd have four or eight uh, pages, but we have six in my document, so there's going to be two empty pages in my book. Um, you can go to the preview to take a look and no, oh, it doesn't look right. There's a warning sig uh, sign. Uh, the orientation isn't correct. So we're going to fix that. If we go to the print settings button here, it brings up our more familiar print dialog box. And here we can change um, the printer that we're going to go to. Um, and so I'm actually going to just um, have it go to a PDF file. Uh, since this is a, an online tutorial, you're not going to be able to see the print anyhow. Um, and we'll keep all these settings the same here. Um, under setup though, we have letter. We want to change the orientation of the paper because you can see that that, that doesn't match with um, what's in the print booklet. So if we change the orientation to uh, landscape and then I'm going to uh, center it so that just helps keep everything centered when it prints uh, front to back. Um, coming into here to marks and bleeds, I don't need to worry about any of this um, or any of the other settings. So we're just going to say OK right here. And you can see now it changed it. The warning sign is gone. And you can see we've got page one. And, and next to it is a blank page. And you can scroll through the preview and see there's the other uh, blank page as well and page two, and then page three and six next to each other, and four and five. So that's when it prints front to back that the pages will go in order 
um, after they're printed front to back and folded and inserted. So um, yeah, uh, one other thing to do um, is that if you are actually printing it and you're in this setup here is to um, maybe if I show a printer and you go to setup to be able to turn on uh, the duplex printing. So you want to be able to find the um, setting for your printer. It'll show up here, whether it's Mac or PC, and to turn on two-sided printing and to make sure that it's printing um, and backing up uh, to the right uh, orientation. That's a little bit of a troubleshoot on your own, depending on your printer settings or the ones in the lab. So anyhow, I'm going to go back to PDF and say OK there. And that's good. And so when I say print, um, InDesign is going to generate a PDF. It's going to ask me where to save it. Uh, so I'll just say the desktop. It has saved it. And if I bring it over here, sorry, I have two screens. So you can see that this will print on one side and then on the next side on the back of it will print here which there's page one um, and then um, this will be the inside of the back cover actually and then this will be two three I'm sorry that'll be uh, pages six and three and then pages four and five so with this PDF file you can um, Print that out on, uh, you know, duplexed printing, fold it, and stitch together your book, and you are good to go. So for the tutorial, though, um, it'd be fine to just um, save this print booklet file um, and turn that in. Um, and if you made a PDF, uh, to go ahead and turn in the PDF as well. Thanks.